What's up, new squad? Um, this is Nooch. Nighttime. This kind of fits now. This is Nooch Nightclub. Uh, speaking for running the gauntlet. And today, we are going to be a demonstration of the jib board. What mainly you can do with it. What's fun to do with it. Um, I guess all sorts of different fun things. Um, for a bit of this, I'm just going to be showing you what I do every time I come out and just mess around on it. Like sometimes I'll stick, sometimes I'll stick on one thing for a while. Sometimes I'll just do random stuff. Uh, and then once I'm fully healed up here, I'll show you the more advanced stuff I do. But today it's just going to be kind of simple, simple tricks. But let's get into it. And I will be explaining these tricks. I'll be giving you different angles. Like right now, this is kind of a side angle. I'm kind of far. And then move closer. Again, here's the rail or box or both. Ugh. Now we've got it closer. So you should be able to see this. Mm. Okay, boom, right there, perfect, we're done. So, boom, 50-50, hop off, simple. And I'm left foot forward, so keep that in mind. I'll, I'm always, this will always be the way I'm starting, unless I, I'll say I'm going right foot forward. So, say I'm going right foot forward this time. Start right here so you have actual room. You can do backside 50-50. You could do board slide. Uh, you could do 180 on, 180 off. The, I mean, this thing has like limitless possibilities. You could, nope. You could 50-50 on, then no slide off the slant. Do that. What was that? 180 on. No. I'm trying to explain the trick I just did. So I went. What did I do? I think I did this. Oh, okay. I got you now. So I started about right here, and I went to a front board slide. Or maybe a front board is what most people would call it. It's where, say this is going down slope, I would go perpendicular with it and then go off. It's pretty much the same as a board slide, but backwards. Um, and then I hit uh, 270 off. <laughs> to be honest, you have a l there's a you you get a lot more confidence on rails and stuff when just screwing around with things like these. Like, I mean, I remember there was times when I just, I didn't, I didn't want to touch a rail in the terrain park out on the snow, but now they're fun, somewhat. I mean, I'm still kind of scared of them, but less scared. There's 270 on. That was scary. I landed almost on the slant. I got my dog watching me as an audience. Let's try that again. 270 on. Uh, there's a fall for you. I'm gonna keep that in. Show you how it's safe to fall. It doesn't hurt. Even when you've got a fractured collarbone. Scrubbing, you just have to know how to fall. That's one of the main things you need to know when snowboarding or skating. You gotta know how to fall. I broke my right wrist when I was young snowboarding because I fell like this and broke my wrist. But now I know how to fall and I'm chilling. That right there was a 180 nose press. Oh, that'd be cool. Sometimes things like that will happen. I'll be screwing around and I'll do something and then it just inspires more ideas. So. I 
I think I had a challenge with myself last time I really got into these. It was like, it's <laughs> four five. Here, here. I'll see if I can do it. <laughs> nope. 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 Back to action. Nope. Woo! Woo! Alright. 50-50. Works up. Nope. No. 50. Nope. 50. Nope. 50-50. Works up. 50 Works up. Boom. 360. Oh. I remember when I used to struggle with that. That was so annoying. Whee! Get it from this angle. Can you see that? I think you can see that. All right, now we're going to go. Now we're going to go into the difference between, like, what a good board slide would look like or a good 50-50. Um, and I'll show you progression through it because that's something easy to do with this toy. <laughs> Let's get it. So, for regular people, left foot forward, or if you're goofy, you might not know to be honest. But you always want to start with your heel side to the rail. So you want your like butt to the rail, and. So the lip of the rail would usually be right here, but because you have like no downslope momentum, whew, because you have like no downslope momentum, you gotta like start pretty much lined up with it just to get the position now. So you'd start right around here. And the main objective is to not so much like here. Not so much stay on one foot, but kind of on the inside of it. With this side. And just and because you'll be going down slope, right here is probably the best spot. So and try not to slide off. So There's a good example. Here's a bad example. It's just when you only get the nose or tail of your board on it. It's just hard to stay on. It's also really risky because you have no idea when you'll be too much pressure on it. And just, you'll just slide out from it. Like you'd go here, slide that way and just whoo taco it, which is no bueno. Let's go practicing it. So first, as I said in the previous video, is you would want to start on with like, right on boxes or anything like that, just to get the feel down. And when doing that on this, it's very easy because it's flat, but just get in the middle of it and practice your balance. Lean one way, but and just switch between between feet. Hop off, go back on, back to middle or back to the good spot, and then see. go here. And then you get fun with it. Front board. Um, pretty much you just get really comfortable on the box side of it before you get to the rail. But you saw some pretty good examples of board slides. I'll show you what a bad board slide would look like or something you, that wouldn't really go well in, say, competition. Judging wise, would be if your board wasn't like perpendicular with it, if it was slanted, which is also kind of weird. 
but if it was like this or this, pretty much if it's not perpendicular. And as I said, there's the over jump, there's the under jump, there's the crooked, there's the other way crooked, there's 50-50 to this, which is a really good way to practice it. I would recommend that if you were gonna do this. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on board. Board slides. So easy to save yourself on this thing. I don't know how, but it is. It's also fun to just spin, you know? I mean, it also... Uh, uh, you don't want to... Oh, I landed it. If you don't want to spend the extra money to do it, you could pretty much do these things with a stair that's on the outside or something like that if you have a patio. Just get on the edge of it, get in the middle, lean into it, and then hop back out. You can also do it flat, so you just lift this side of the board up, stay weight on this leg, and then pop back to normal. Same if you're right foot forward. Pop back. Um, you could do grabs. I think. Boom. Spins. One eighty. Oh, that's something you don't want to do a snowboard. Learn like that. You do the Michael Jackson. You do nose press. Tail press. Tail press, two nose press. I guess tail press to tail press. You can paint one walk. Wow. I guess you can't really paint one walk that well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much 50-50s and board slides on the jib board. It's, I mean, it's super fun. You get distracted with time, lose the amount of time. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's fun to mess around on, figure out new tricks, uh, screw around with most of them. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you for joining me on tonight's vlog. And I will see you all later. Next week, we'll probably be going over some more um, snowboard stuff it might just be my main content now it's fun to talk about I enjoy talking about it but thank you for joining me on tonight's episode of the Nooch's Nightclub this is Nooch thank you and peace